they are actively out here villainizing black men for not wanting to vote for Kamala Harris. And I said it before and I will say it again. They think they own us. She be reading from no cards and she still never answers. The women that are telling black men that they have to vote for Kamala Harris, it is going to remind black men of every bitter baby mama. Yeah, don't let these people mind rape you and mind screw you into forgetting about the fact that Kamala Harris said that she wouldn't do anything exclusively for black people. Black women trying to shame black men into voting for Kamala and y'all voting just because she's a black woman. It's crazy. Let's get into it. I'm about to ask y'all a question and I'm so serious when I say this. Was it the shot that stopped y'all from thinking? Please answer me. Please. Because it's not one competent person right now in the whole entire Democratic Party to answer one question for her. Nobody got sick of her saying the same shit and say, Kamala, I'm tired of you losing for us, and handed her a piece of paper. Y'all handed millions of dollars to Megan Thee Stallion and Quavo to shake their heads and tell you they in the streets. But you can't get a fucking answer out of your vice president? You mean to tell me y'all don't have a competent writer to write her an answer that she, she be reading from no cards and she still never answers? This shows me everything I need to fucking know about the entire Democratic Party. Y'all are batshit crazy. It ain't no way in a motherfucking world you can vote for some shit like this. She haven't said nothing. Not a goddamn thing worth voting for. You ask her about what she gonna do with the inflation and she's currently VP. Let me say that again. She's currently VP. You ask her what she's gonna do about inflation and she tell you this long drawn out story about her mama being a middle class citizen, working hard from the bottom up and that has nothing to do with 2024. She take you all the way back to 1960. Y'all stupid as a motherfucker. Hey, man, I feel homie 100%, man. Listen, man, watching a Kamala interview or anything, it just feels like you're pulling teeth. As soon as you ask her a direct question, she's going to sit back, look up into the sky, and start going on about some story that has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Let's get into another story real quick. It is going to be every, like, the women that are telling black men that they have to vote for Kamala Harris, it is going to remind black men of every bitter baby mama. It is going to remind black men of every neck swiveling, bad attitude, masculinized black woman that they have ever dealt with in their entire life. It is going to remind them of <laughs> their single mothers and their aunties that basically verbally abused and disrespected them while they were growing up because the black men in their lives left them and these young black men and these black boys were left to bear the brunt. You know, this really wasn't the angle I was coming at with it, but you know, he's right, man. He's right, you gotta give it to him. It's so many women that want her to win just so motherfuckers can throw it in our face, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy. I'm not, you know, diving deep into my opinion right now because my opinion will get me canceled. So, like, nah, we just gonna sit here and react to people's opinions and I pretty much agree with all the black men on here right now and then towards the end, I'll show y'all, uh, you know, the hypocrisy of the black women who's voting for Kamala. Hey, ever since Joe Biden stepped down and Kamala Harris stepped up as the Democratic nominee, all I've been seeing on my timeline is black women saying that they were voting for her simply because she's the same gender and the same color as them. Like, is that all it takes? She just got to be the same color and the same gender and she got your vote? You don't care about any policy. You don't care about how she treat people. Just simply based off of color and gender, she got your vote. Well, if that's the case, would you vote for Candace Owens? You know, they play the same game every four years. Those other three years, they don't give a shit about us. But come election year, yeah, they got our best interest at heart. They fighting for us, right? Yeah, I'm not falling for that shit. You know, it, it's not a fact. It's just my opinion. But I don't think Joe Biden was getting the amount of black support the Democratic Party hoped that he would get. So they had him step down, pick Kamala Harris up, because they knew if black people see a familiar face in office, that's where their vote will go. And look exactly what's going on. Like, y'all voting for her simply because she's black, simply because she's a woman. 
Like that, and that's really sad. Like it's okay to think for yourself. You know, man, me voting for Barack Obama back in what, 2012, just for the fact that he was black, I was what, 18, 19, just happy to see him, you know, get in office just because that's a mistake. That's one of the biggest mistakes you can do. Like you said, they're gonna ignore you the whole time. They don't care what you're doing. The Democratic Party is the worst ones, man. Listen, man, it's teachers. Just like the, your elementary your elementary teachers teach you growing up. Do you want more government or do you want less government? You know what I'm saying? Most people pick less government, but they still end up, you know, going for the Democrats with the more government. It's crazy, man. Let's get into another one. Yeah, so um, I just wanted to come on here and get some shit off my chest. Because for about the past, I don't know, uh, two weeks maybe, um, I've seen a lot of black celebrities and media personalities and so-called journalists uh, make it their business to try to shame and denigrate and shit on and uh, insult the intelligence of black men because they don't want they don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. They are actively out here villainizing black men for not wanting to vote for Kamala Harris. And I said it before and I will say it again. They think they own us. They think they own our fucking vote. They want us to believe that we have some sort of obligation to them that when it's right for them, we should play identity politics and vote for her because she's black. And now they're pushing a the narrative that we're dumb, that we're uneducated, we're misinformed. We don't know what the fuck is going on. And the crazy thing about it is it's the complete opposite. The people who are running away from Kamala Harris are the people who are informing themselves, who are researching that actually know what the fuck is going on and just not letting themselves be told any goddamn thing. That's the reality of the situation. So, you know, I just was, it's, it's astonishing to me to see it though, where you have these uh, people, they sending out these black women and these boot licking ass men, right? The Van Joneses, the Bakari Sellers, the Roland Martins, right? The DL Hughleys, even Plies, and it's a whole bunch of them who are trying to shame black men for thinking for themselves, because that's all they're doing. We're thinking for ourselves. They're just like when a slave owner didn't want you to learn how to read. Because once you learn how to read, you have knowledge. And knowledge is fucking power. And that's the problem. No, watch MSNBC. Don't do no thinking. Let us tell you what to think. Huh? Don't you want to see a black woman president? Don't you want to see somebody who was belonged to a sorority? Don't you want to see a black woman get sworn in by a black woman on Martin Luther King's birthday? A whole bunch of token shit that don't mean a goddamn thing. That's what they want us to vote for. Y'all out your motherfucking minds, man. I was listening to Ricky Smiley. Ricky Smiley talking about in regards to black men. They not doing the right research. What? Who the fuck you talking to, Ricky Smiley? They not doing the right research. So because we're thinking for ourselves... We're not doing the right research. We're supposed to listen to you. That's the right research. We're and we're going to just keep seeing more and more of this shit. Joy Reid telling black people, you're going to look weird. What, 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 what fuck me in the sixth grade? Don't nobody give a fuck about looking weird. We're worrying about the issues, the economy, our communities, our children, our futures. What the fuck you talking about looking weird? See, that's the dumb shit. See, that's for weak-minded people. And they just going to keep going, bro. You get all the, the narratives is going to keep going. A uh, sellout, coon, traitor, or uh, you hate black women and all that cool shit. Bakari and Van Jones up on CNN crying and boohooing. Don't nobody give a fuck. Too smart to fall for that shit, man. So y'all could keep rolling that shit out. We're going to keep standing 10 motherfucking toes down. The fuck out of here. Love the black man until he wants to think for himself. Until he wants to form his own opinion. Until he stops seeing himself as a victim. And then he becomes the enemy. And I'm watching this shit happen in real time. It's happening right now. And all you got to do is keep your eyes open, pay attention, and you can see it clear as day. This shit is real. So I'm saying all that to say if you are an actor, a rapper, a comedian, or, or anything else, you're not going to dictate our decision by calling us names and trying to make us feel bad. Fuck you. They think we're stupid. They think we are dumb. Listen, man, they got the, you know, Meg the Stallion and whoever else they can, you know, prop up there and tell them to come on, we're black, blackity black, we could do it over here, dancing for this, you know, half Indian lady. You know what I'm saying? Why are y'all always saying somebody ain't black when they have black? But as soon as it comes to somebody y'all like, y'all be like, remember she's half the that one rule. But listen, they got Ricky Smiley, they got all these radio personalities, TV personalities trying to, you know, trick us and say just vote for her just because this lady can't talk. They out here, you know. I'm not about to say, I'm not, I'm not going to say 
what I want to say for real. Because homie, you know, he really covered everything. But I'm not going to, uh, you know, backpedal like that. So let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Yeah, don't let these people mind rape you and mind screw you into forgetting about the fact that Kamala Harris said that she wouldn't do anything exclusively for black people and then turned around and did something exclusively for Asian people and then turned around and did something exclusively for white Jewish people. Like, let's just be honest. Like, just because she's black don't mean I want to vote for her. Like, 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 what is she going to do? Like, stop. We need to stop voting for people just because they Democrat, just because we're scared of the Republican representative. Ooh, the Republican boogeyman. Yo, these Democrats ain't done nothing for black people unless you bourgeois black people. You know what I'm saying? But if you at the bottom, they have done nothing for you. But guess what? Those same bourgeois black people that 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 basically get all the benefits from from the democrats right they get the jobs they get to this they get to that those same bourgeois black people haven't done anything for their own people as well so i guess kamala harris is all the same as them i remember another interview i saw with kamala harris art and she said somebody asked her what are y'all going to do for black people and she said we can't pass laws just for black people she said this we can't do things just for black well kamala harris can i ask you a question madam vice president if y'all, if the Democratic Party can't do anything just for black people, why did y'all pass a law only for Asians? Why did y'all pass a law only for Native Americans? Why did y'all pass a law only for transgenders? Why did y'all pass a law only for LGBTQs? Why did y'all pass a law only for immigrants? If you can't do anything just for black people, this is what she said. It came out of her mouth. If you can't do anything just for black people, how was it possible for you and President Biden to do all these other things for specific ethnic groups in this country from whose benefit no other group can take anything from. Yeah, man. So that's the biggest lie you ever heard. You can't do nothing specifically for a you know, specific race or a specific person. Me, that's not the angle I'm taking. I don't give a fuck about reparations or specific laws. Me, I got a, a few things, you know, that, you know, bother me the most, especially uh, the immigrant crisis the immigrant crisis why is nobody talking about this they coming over here and getting everything ruining everything and getting you know delivered everything on a silver platter at the same time man listen black women let's look go ahead and listen to the hypocrisy on that like what i told y'all about earlier then afterwards anton is going to completely break down the immigrant crisis and why you need to be voting against it you pro woman i, I got to hear what you got to say y'all i am pro woman um but in this situation, I'm, I, I don't think that she's going to win. I think it's good for entertainment and us women and black women at that. But as far as you men, black, whatever color, I don't think y'all are going to allow it. I don't think y'all are. And I think y'all are going to band together with your votes and vote against her. That's what I think. Would you vote for? Let me ask you a question. Would you vote for? Yeah. Why? I, I'm going to just be real honest with this. She's a black woman. Back to what somebody was saying where you don't, do you not see the, how that's, how that's a bad idea? Elaborate. Okay. So we're in three proxy wars three. with some of the most powerful leaders in the world. She failed at the border in which we have an estimation of 15 to 20 million people illegally into this country. That is literally overtaking and bankrupting Chicago to the tune of over $400 million per year and they are in a deficit. Oakland is going out of business. San Francisco, ditto California, $65 billion deficit. New York, they're literally cutting trash in which they are the rattiest, dirtiest city and they've taken up resources as far as free health care, free hotels to the tune of $600 a day. They're literally taking over your schools. Your taxpayer dollars are going to fund the migrant crisis. She was supposed to be in charge of this. We have a failing economy. Every single day I see people getting on, getting on the Internet talking about $30 an hour is the new minimum wage because inflation is fucking out of control. At one point, it was at almost 10 percent, depending on what city that you went 
She has no policy, no record to stand on. One of the biggest things that she did in her career was lock up more black men than ever before. But we sitting here and voting her, voting her, vote her in office on identity politics. The very person that she she's she was under as far as the president of the United States of America. She called him racist during a debate, which shows you how fake she is. And the only thing that we can stand on from a policy perspective is whether or not she's black and she's a woman. We did that during the Obama administration. So yeah, that about sums it up, man. Don't be out here, you know, letting them pull the wool over your eyes, man. You know, do your research. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're voting for what sit rights with you. Make sure you ain't trying to please your mama, please your friend group, your little following on Instagram and stuff. You ain't gotta be broadcasting who you vote for. Politics was not public knowledge that you talk about in casual conversation just 15, 20 years ago. The Obama situation changed that. Cause you had black people, you know, not afraid to say, I voted black for Obama. And you had white people saying, you know, I ain't with that shit. But you know, you had a whole bunch of white people who voted him in, but we're not about to, you know, make this a story time. Y'all got the gist of the video. Stay safe, stay diligent. It's election coming up. You already know who I'm going for, man. I ain't looking for nothing personal out here, but you know, overall, I know what I like to see. I know what I need to happen. So if you feel offended, or, you know, you just disagree, comment. If you agree, comment. Like, share, subscribe. See y'all in the next one. We born to fucking die, man. In the meantime, get money.